Well, here's a unique and dirty story. The massive effort to clean up plastic in the Pacific Ocean descended on San Francisco today. The nonprofit aiming to clean up the so-called Great Pacific Garbage Patch was in town with the big message. They need billions of dollars to clean up our oceans. Here's NBC's Ian Cole. Two ships from the ocean cleanup sailed back into the San Francisco Bay today, not just carrying waste from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, but also a message. It's a huge day. We've been working on this for, for so many years, and to finally now have uh, a solution that works. Founder and CEO Boyan Slot says the garbage patch is now twice the size of Texas. They've spent the past six years doing what they call extractions like this and say they've pulled out a million pounds of trash. And today, Slat says the Great Pacific Garbage Patch can be cleared. You know, the only thing standing between us and a clean ocean is, uh, is money. He says their modeling and data shows the job could be done in 10 years for $7.5 billion. You know, there are numbers out there that this problem is costing the world up to $2.5 trillion. So uh, I think it should be a no-brainer. You know, cleaning the ocean is a lot cheaper and a lot better for the world. But Slat says they're developing new technology that could cut cleanup time and cost in half. The idea is to do that using uh, GPS trackers that emulate how the plastic moves in the ocean, uh, while also using drones that we have fitted with AI-powered cameras to actually scan the surface area to, to see where those hotspots are. The nonprofit says it could be covered by just 1% of the annual revenue from the world's plastic producers. The ocean cleanup uses two strategies. One is intercepting plastic and garbage flowing in rivers before it makes it to the sea, like you can see here in a time lapse during a flash flood in Guatemala. And the second is cleaning up what has already accumulated in the ocean. Now, the CEO says there is a decision to make. Whether the ocean actually gets cleaned is now really uh, up to the world to, to decide. You know, we're, we're ready, and now uh, we're looking for the support. In San Francisco, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.